Uh, hi, I'm Isaac. I'm from Basis and Independent Silicon Valley. I'm a rising sophomore. Uh, this is my third milestone for the IoT air pollution monitor. So, um, compared to milestone two, what's changed is that now instead of just like sending random numbers to the website, it now um, it now like sends information about the air to this website. Uh, so here's uh, here's the code. Uh, here are the libraries, and this function calculates the air quality. Uh, so uh, this function uh, it basically um, sets up the like uh, air quality sensor. This um, yeah, and then this uh, this function uh, uses the sensor to um, like um, find out what the temperature and humidity of the air is. And lastly, uh. All the pins are connected, and here there's a loop that uses all the functions in order to send data to the website. Um, challenges I faced were mostly software related. There was one hardware issue, which was that um, it used the sa same pin for resetting and um, uh, communicating between these two chips. Uh, but on the software side, a lot of the libraries were uh, sort of incompatible with the code. And the code itself uh, used like the same pin for like these two chips and the reset. So um, it didn't really work out well. So I had to modify that uh, in order to, uh, in order to, Fix the problem. That was pretty much it. And next, um, it will be modifications. So, like adding maybe like a solar panel, a battery, um, maybe some sort of case to hold everything together. That's pretty much it.